Considered to be one of the greatest bodybuilders in the history of the golden era of bodybuilding, let's talk about the legacy of Franco Colombo. Guys, welcome to another episode of Fitness After Dark. It's Wednesday. You already know what that means. It's your host, as always, Naive Avicencio. And for those of you that have tuned in before, you know the tradition already. So let's go ahead and hand it off to Mr. Bruce Buffer. We are live. Man, I always love doing that. So let's go ahead and talk about the legacy of Franco Colombo, aka the Scardinian Strongman, aka the first under 200 pound Mr. Olympian. Now, if you guys have seen Pumping Iron before, you already know this clip that we're about to play right now. The man is lifting a car, bro. What else could you ask for? So born in 1946, Franco Colombo actually had over 30 fights on his professional boxing record before making the transition over to bodybuilding in the late 1960s. He actually met Arnold in Germany around 1965 and the two decided to make the epic journey to the United States in the 1960s working for Joe Wilder. At that time, he actually offered them housing so that way they can continue their bodybuilding career and make some extra money on the side. But at the time, they figured the money wasn't enough and they needed to do something else. So the two actually collabs with one another another and started a bricklaying company to go ahead and have the funds to continue their bodybuilding pursuits. Weighing in at 186 pounds at a competition weight and height of 5'5", Franco Colombo made so many records during the 1970s, aka during the golden era of bodybuilding. He actually won Mr. Olympia twice now in 1976 and in 1981. So overall then, what makes Franco Colombo one of the greatest competitors in the history of bodybuilding? It's pretty simple. With his stature and weight, he was one of the first people to actually make history at bodybuilding at that time. He actually broke the mold, proving that you don't have to be fucking huge. You don't have to be like six foot five, fucking 300 pounds to win a bodybuilding competition, especially during that time as well. Honestly, his humbleness, his humility, him and Arnold Schwarzenegger were the closest training partners during that time and continue to be close friends up until his passing recently. You know, RIP to the GOAT right there. Franco Colombo will have his name etched in the history of bodybuilding for his record, for his stature, for his humility, for all the good stuff you can talk about. He is one to remember. And literally that clip right there <laughs> more than speaks volumes to the history of Franco Colombo. Now, if you guys enjoyed this little podcast, I'm glad you guys tuned in. If you guys want to see more epic bodybuilding content, stick around, man. There's more to come. Make sure to check out these two videos right here for more epic old school bodybuilding content from yours truly. Now, have an awesome rest of the day and go kill that workout if you haven't yet. Take care, broskies.